Remember, it's a war zone out there. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout Weapon Guide. Today we have the Alien Blaster post nerf, because unfortunately they decided to nerf the two-shot cryo damage of this weapon, so it's not as strong as it used to be. So that's unfortunate. I got the new skin for it. They gave us a new skin, but they ruined the damage on it. So that sucks. Anyway. Um, here are my perks. We got Barbarian, Traveling Pharmacy, and Strong Back, just to carry more stuff and have a bit more damage resistance. Uh, tank Killer and Concentrated Fire for armor penetration and, uh, you know, a bit more damage and being able to aim onto heads and vats. Life Giver, Radical, and Rejuvenated for a bit more health, a bit more strength, things like that. Um, field Surgeon, Strange in Numbers, and Tenderizer, more damage and survivability. Science Perks with Nerd Rage and Demolition Expert, these are all for buffing the damage on the um, Alien Blaster. Gunslinger Perks with Adrenaline and Born Survivor, again for damage and survivability. Bloody Mess Ricochet, well this can be different actually. We're going to put Critical Savvy on, we don't need um, Ricochet. Um, well actually, we're going to need Serendipity too. So we're going to take off Bloody Mess and throw on Serendipity. Bloody Mess, it's not... I, I like my survivability. I'm sorry. Maybe I could... Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, so Serendipity, Critical Savvy, Good with Salt, Search Jeans, Class Freak. Lucky Break doesn't need to be there. Honestly, I could take that off. Um, but yeah, those are the perks. Actually, we are going to take it off for one point in Bloody Mess. So yeah, there you go. Legendary perks are Intelligence, Charisma, Endurance, taking one for the team, Luck, and Agility. Alright, my base specials for this build are 9, 6, 5, 3, 9, 12, 12. Okie dokie. Let's go, let's go uh, to the Super Mutant place and see how it does against the mutants. Alright, and we're here at the always amazing... Always fun, always fantastic Super Mutants Plaza to test out our new Alien Blaster post nerf. If you remember the first video I made and it got a lot of views, the damage was pretty crazy, but now the damage is about three shots. So the disintegrator that I made a video on does about the same. It's about three shots to kill these guys. Um, it used to just be two. It just only it only took two shots to get a kill with this, but now it's three. The damage has been nerfed. It's been cut in half, actually, which is pretty terrible. Now that by no means means this gun is horrible because of the ridiculous fire rate on it makes it shoot super fast um, but the damage is not there anymore it used to be just ridiculously overpowered now it's you know not that great you know they'll nerf this gun but they won't nerf commando build weapons um, the, a fixer could deal ridiculous amounts of damage but they'll never change that um, but they'll change niche weapons like this that require a specific role and a specific mod to be on par with a commando build. It just makes no sense. But anyway, let's just keep pressing forward.
So yeah, I mean, the weapon isn't horrible. It's still good. It's just the damage it was dealing, um, you know, just a week ago or two weeks ago was insane. I don't know why they decided, hey, let's like nerf the damage on this specific weapon for the alien event, especially when we're going to add a brand new alien blaster skin that looks really good, by the way. I really like the design on this skin, but they decided, hey, we're just going to nerf the gun anyway. Um, it sucks. You know, I'm not too mad about it, but can you imagine the seething rage if they decided to nerf, uh, you know, fixer, commando, bloody builds, like if they really went hard and like cut the damage in half like they did with this weapon, it, it, you, we, we'd never hear the end of it. People would be so goddamn mad. Seems like that is everyone in here. Can't find the last guy. So, as that that's the alien blaster now. It's still good, you know. But when it was on top, like it, when it wasn't nerfed, it was amazing. It was the single best uh, gunslinger pistol gun in the entire game. I said gun twice. Um, and, and pistols have always been shit. They've always been horrible because of they require high agility and there's a lot of very useful perks in agility that you lose access to because you have to have um, nine points dedicated to gunslinger perks to make good pistols good so now I don't I, I don't know why they did it but you know whatever I'm not gonna whine about it too much okay let's just go see how it, how it does against the big mutant and Swallowman's Pond all right and we're here at Swallowman's Pond um, I imagine it's still gonna be good against this guy but I mean if you compare my first video to this video you'll you'll see a noticeable difference I just I, I don't know what went through their brains to make this decision you know it should have stayed the way it was they won't nerf commit I've said it over and over again I'm not gonna repeat myself I'm just it, it hurts me a little bit you know okay that is big man big man hard bigger they are the harder they fall that's Swallowman. He is done. So, yeah, guys. That's the two-shot critical damage. What the fuck? That's the two-shot critical damage action point cost alien blaster. The skin kind of makes it be all wonky um, in the when you're doing the thing of a bob here. But, yeah. It's good. It's, you know, it, it's still okay. It's just not as good as it used to be. And, you know, that's just what happens sometimes. Um, so, yeah. If you enjoyed watching, like, subscribe, comment, because it makes me feel good. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. It's easy to just click the button. It's going up to you. So, press it or don't. I understand. Um... And, uh, yeah, uh, pew, 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 I turned you into goo. All right, bye-bye.